Ebola and Avris vaccine test opens as us volunteer gets first shot even if the research goes well, a vaccine would not be available for widespread use for 12 to 18 months. Us researchers gave the first shot to the first person in a test of an experimental Ebola and Avris vaccine on Monday leading off a worldwide hunt for protection even as the pandemic surges. With a careful jab in a healthy volunteer's arm, scientists at the Kaiser Permanente Washington Research Institute in Seattle begin an anxiously awaited first-stage study of a potential COVID-19 vaccine developed in record time after the new virus exploded from China and fanned across the globe. We're Team Clara and Everest now, Kaiser Permanente study leader Dr. Lisa Jackson said on the eve of the experiment. Everyone wants to do what they can in this emergency the Associated Press News Agency watched as the study's first participant, an operations manager at a small tech company, received the injection inside an exam room. Several others were next in line for a test that will ultimately give 45 volunteers two doses, a month apart. We all feel so helpless. This is an amazing opportunity for me to do something, said Jennifer Holler, 43, of Seattle. She's the mother of two teenagers and they think it's cool that she's taking part in the study. Monday's milestone mark just the beginning of a series of studies and people needed to prove whether the shots are safe and could work. Even if the research goes well, a vaccine would not be available for widespread use for 12 to 18 months, said Dr. Anthony Fossey of the US National Institutes of Health. That is still important if the virus becomes a long-term threat.